Good morning TJV fans. This is the A9 towards Inverness in Scotland. Gloomy day. But it's going to be a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Good morning everybody. This is our load for today. I'm just tying it down. Got one more strap to throw. I'll take you along with me for it. We're in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and this load is headed down to Park Rapids, Minnesota, in the United States. So I've got the one strap here. I'm gonna throw it over from the other side. Reason being is, you'll see it from the back here. This side has a straight edge down, right? Obviously this side doesn't. Now I don't want to throw my strap from there and pull the load that way. I want the strap to go over from here, hold that bottom piece in, go over here and pin this whole piece straight down. Not pulling it over, but pinning it straight down. Does that make sense? We got old blue sitting at the front of this train ready to work so I'm gonna throw this one right over here the thing is they put these right up to the edge of the rub rail here and I can't fit my hook through here right so I'm gonna unroll the whole strap and feed it through here where I want it right about here yeah because the strap has to be inside the rub rail. That's very important. If you don't want to attract the attention, unnecessary attention at the scale or DOT, MOT, wherever you are, never put your straps over the rub rail. Always inside the rub rail. It's called a rub rail for a reason. If you rub against anything and your straps are on the outside, it's gonna rip your strap right off and then your load's unsecured. Rub rails there to protect your straps. If at all possible also, you don't want to be attaching these hooks to these rub rails. On these trailers especially, because this is a very, this is just welded on. It's not as strong of a rub rail. You can see it over here. You never want to secure your load to this. You always want to go under to the frame on here, or in this case, this trailer has these where I hook them into. You can see this one is hooked in right here. And that's where it's supposed to be hooked into. That's another way to get bad attention if you uh, strap your load to that because that's not rated for very much weight. That'll just rip right off. You know, you hit one bump, the trailer goes like this. Boink, it'll just rip your rub rail right off and your load will fall right off your trailer. That's uh, what they're trying to prevent anyways, I think. Got this one last strap to throw over. And I'm not claiming to be perfect or all-knowing either, just so you know. I'm learning every day too. Little tips like that are just, are just that. They're just little tips, things that I've you know gathered in my years of driving truck. I've been driving trucks since 2006. So I've learned a thing or two in there, but you know, there's always more to learn. You always got to be open to learn. Sometimes I'm wrong. But if you go to DOT and they're trying to give you a ticket, or if they come to you and they're trying to give you a ticket, and you try to get out of it by saying, well, Trucker Josh told me to do it this way. Well, guess what? 
they're not gonna buy it. <laughs> You're getting a ticket anyway. So, I try not to uh, give you any false information. I do my absolute best. So coming down here, have this one coming down right over this here. This over here. And these straps here will pin this piece here straight down to here and the other side will hold these bottom pieces together like that. And then through the magical powers of friction, this load isn't going anywhere. Park Rapids, where this freight is going to, is about a five hour drive from here. So I'm gonna quickly finish tying this all down and we'll uh, start making our way south. Hopefully I can get unloaded today yet. And most times there's more than just one way of doing things too. It's not like I'm telling you this is the way you do it, it's my way or the highway. I just show you how I do it and what works for me. There are other ways of doing things too. I always say there's no right or wrong way of tying down a load. I should, I should phrase that carefully though. There is a wrong way of tying down a load. <laughs> As long as the load is secure, there's not always just one way to do it. I mean, there's many different variations of techniques you could use. You sort of just gotta find out what works for you. And as long as the load is legal and you know, good to go down the highway, don't overthink it sometimes. Don't, don't second guess yourself, but uh, just make sure you're confident in your load because if anything falls off that load, it's your fault.
and once again empty and like always after they unload me I come back here to make sure that there's nothing loose on my deck it's nice of them to stay just long enough to unload me got here at 4 40 p.m. I think it's about five o'clock exactly now so they're all headed home and I gotta get out of their yard so they can close their gate but I'm gonna leave this piece of wood here with them because this is part of their load looks like it's broken some of the dunnage I guess it's theirs okay looking good looking good that was a rush that was not the good kind of rush either I hate rushing I really hate rushing. I like enjoying the ride, but this is trucking, and let's be honest, almost everything is a rush. Everybody wants everything yesterday, right? So we're headed back to the yard now. I'm gonna grab that van trailer and head over to Portersville Prairie, get ready for tomorrow morning. Busy, busy. Back to the north we go. Just barely made it. Just barely, and it worked out perfect that I was there for exactly 30 minutes, so I got my 30 minute break. Today was a good day. surprised when I show up when I say when I say I'll be there I say oh most truckers lie and say they'll be here like at 15 minutes earlier or something no I try to be as precise as possible so then next time when I call them hopefully they recognize me they'll trust me when I say I'll be there if you wait an extra two minutes for me I'll be there you know me this is Bagley Minnesota
it's probably about a dollar eighty-eight to a dollar ninety Canadian per liter. Just for comparison, back at home, diesel's going for about two dollars twenty cents a liter right now in Manitoba. So it's still considerably cheaper down here in the U.S. We're hooked up to a van trailer now. Just like I said before, I'm gonna pull it out to Portage La Prairie and grab a load with it in the morning, bring it back here, and next week I'm gonna pull it up into northern Manitoba. It looks a little strange to me with a box behind it. In order for it to work for me to pull a box behind me or a van trailer, I have to slide my fifth wheel all the way to the back as far as I can. Because the, the pin on the trailer is further in than on these step decks, there's more overhang, so it comes closer to my truck. And if I leave my fifth wheel where I usually have it when I'm pulling flatbeds, when I make a corner, that comes around and hits my headache crack and could cause some pretty expensive damage. So now there's just enough room in there. Not much. <laughs> I got no extra space, but just enough room to make a corner and not wreck my truck. So let's get going. All right. You guys ready to pull van? Let's make sure it's not gonna fall off first, huh? Okay. Try one more time. Roll forward and spike. And triple, triple, quadruple check. That thing is attached. Nice. Peace of mind. I still always watch it like a hawk for the first like half hour. I don't know why I'm paranoid. You guys wanna see how close the trailer comes to my truck when we turn? I know I do. I wanna double check on that. I'm gonna make a sharp corner right here and then we'll go check it out. Okay, turn. 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 Let's go see how close it is. See, we still got plenty of space in there. I might have even been able to leave it where it was. I usually have the fifth wheel centered between my axles here, and now it's just set back just a little bit, but I could have left it where it was, but 
just in case if I hit a driveway connection and the truck goes up like this, I wanna make sure that the top doesn't touch that. So yeah, we'll be good. And yes, I'm still waiting for my decals that I ordered four weeks ago. Haven't heard back from them. I'm kind of upset about it. I might go to a different company. Four weeks, haven't heard one peep, not nothing. Usually they would send me a template of the design for my approval, nothing. And I called them last week too. After three weeks, I called them and said, hey, what's going on? They said, yeah, yeah, we'll get right back to you. It's been another week, haven't heard back from them. So, uh, creative print all on Steinbeck. I'm waiting to hear from you. I'm anxious to get my new decals. Don't forget about me, please. Look at this thing. Whew. That's a big tank for something. Huh. Feels so weird. I had to put my tarps inside the trailer because there was no room for them on the back of my truck. Open says me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you not see this big glorious hood here? Gotta get right up close and personal with it, eh? Come on. T -t 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 Today, Junior. Such a slow gait. in my paperwork from my last load already we're good to go I'll talk to you when we get there we made it here to Portage La Prairie in Manitoba found one of the very last possible spots we could park their sign looks like it could use some help there, doesn't it? But this is where we spent the night. It's the next morning for me already, so I gotta start tomorrow's video. I hope you tuned in for it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Make new videos of my life on the road as a truck driver across North America. Next week will be actually a little fun. Uh, we're leaving Sunday, getting an early start to the week, and we're headed way up into northern Manitoba, further north than I've ever been in my own home province. Past Thompson. So it's gonna be interesting. I hope we'll be all right. I know we'll be all right. <laughs> I don't know what kind of cell service they got up there. There's not much up there. But tune in then, uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Until then, we're going to uh, see what we have up this weekend. I gotta go pick up this load first in tomorrow's video, and then go home Friday, Saturday, and uh, see what adventure awaits. See you later.